Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Merry Christmas from Bonnet Baking Santa. Hey Bonnet Baking Santa, Bonnet Baking. Okay, anyways, today, what? Today, guys, we are about to make a eggnog pound cake with a twist. You saw the title. This is going to be a fireball. Yes, fireball. You see it. Fireball eggnog pound cake. So I was down to the YouTube streets and I was like, I want to make an eggnog pound cake. Let's put bonnet bacon Santa down. <laughs> but I don't want to just make just a plain old eggnog pound cake i want to make a spiked one so we are doing a who spiked the eggnog pound cake oh so today we're gonna have the usual suspects some flour some eggs you know the stuff i'm gonna show it to you in a minute but we're gonna do eggnog we're gonna make a fireball glaze to go on top this christmas gonna be lit don't worry the alcohol cooks off for all the people who are like, oh my God, everybody gonna be drunk. Now, if you don't cook the alcohol in the glaze, that's your business, cause guess what? You don't have to. So let's get into these ingredients. Bonnet Baking Santa is ready to go. He says, ho, 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 how cute is this? I mean, seriously, look at, look at, look at his little cookie. Look at his little whisk, oh my God. This is adorable. Anyway, CVS for those that are wondering. And he got on his little bonnet. I got on my little bonnet, my little snowflakes, because, you know, it's cold here in Florida. And I mean cold, like, in the 30s, okay? So, for all those who are less than that, I'm sorry. Anyway, don't worry about it. Let's get into these ingredients, and let's get this cake done, because I got to go to my family house. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's get it done. All right, guys. Oop. We have our flour with our cinnamon in it. I have all the ingredients listed in the description box. We have three cups of sugar. We have three sticks of butter. I use salted butter, so we're not gonna add any salt to our flour because we have salt in the butter all right i'm using six room temperature eggs we have a cup a cup of eggnog which i'm gonna mix my vanilla in my eggnog and we have a little what is this little miniature of the fireball whiskey all right we're going to get this all mixed together we have our floured and our greased and floured cake pan because i was out of baker's joy so we went old school and we got her all floured up all right let's get out of the trash can <laughs> all righty let's get this cake mixed up all right first we're gonna cream our butter and sugar together this process takes about a good 10 minutes don't rush the process guys go ahead and set your timer for about 10 minutes mine was on probably like a level five to seven on this part but go ahead and let it get together really good for at least 10 minutes Yes, I spilled some on the counter. Don't worry about it. My counter was clean. So <laughs> I did put it back in there. Anyways, get that going. Get it nice and creamed together. All right, make sure you stop your mixer from time to time to scrape down your edges and make sure you get all of the sugar crystals dissolved into that butter. That's a very important step. 
is to make sure you don't have sugar crystals scraping up on the sides. So make sure you do that. That's a very important step. light and fluffy you see that delicious we're almost done with this part you want to scrape your bowl several times to make sure you get everything mixed together well light and fluffers okay should have got a better spatula but All right, now we're gonna add our eggs one at a time and keep this train moving. Fresh out the oven. Look at that beautiful cake. Yummers. Alrighty. 
we are gonna make a glaze with our fireball and a little bit of eggnog and brown sugar. Now this is off the dome, guys. So if it come out right, it'll go on the cake. If it don't come out right, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep, okay? So first let's get this butter melted. And we're using TG Lee net um egg no TG Lee. <laughs> My daughter likes that for some reason. <laughs> Why does T.G. Lee always crack you up so much? I don't know, because I never said it out loud. <laughs> so much. Alright, so we're going to get this melted. And we're going to see what we come up with, y'all. We got our little fireballs. We're going to put that in there. We're going to make kind of like a caramelly is what I'm going for, like a caramel vibe to go over our beautiful cake that's sitting over there, cooling, which I'm gonna put it in a better spot because I'm cooking and this is probably not cooling that much. <laughs> All right, so let's get our butter melted this is salted butter for those that want to know so like i said we're gonna go for like a caramel vibe with a fireball twist how about that delish Loki could have used a half a stick of butter, but you know, the greedy spirit. I hope you guys are having a merry, merry Christmas. All right, we're going to turn this down just a skosh because we don't want it to burn. Probably a good cup, yeah. I'll stir her. Can you see? Yeah, can you see? But we're stirring her up till we get all the sugar dissolved. This works. It's gonna be so delicious, y'all. For real. Okay. Let that simmer for a sec. Let's get out our whisking whisker. Giving caramel vibes, guys. the milk after we had it whisked. Then we can yeah, off the heat. 
All right, y'all see how it's thickening up? That's what we want. All right, now we got our caramel going. Don't want to overcook it because I don't want it to burn. I'm going to take her off the heat like so. Let's see how thick and delicious that is. All right, now we're going to add a little bit of the eggnog. It's looking and smelling delightful, y'all. Just a little more of the eggnog. Oh my God, please look how silky and creamy. Oh, it's good. Okay, now, for the piece de resistance. We're gonna put our fireball in there. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Okay. Oh my God. This smells so good. I think I just have made the most amazing. Oh, oh my God. Smell it, y'all. Smell. Smell it. Mm. Oh. Oh. Let's taste it. Oh, oh my God. Here, I just... I just invented fireball caramel mm. eggnog glaze. Oh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. that is good, y'all. Hold on. All right, guys, let's get this cake glazed. First, I'm going to poke my cake full of holes because I want that glaze to seep down in the holes and get that good caramel flavor throughout and keep it nice and moist and delicious. This step is definitely optional. You don't have to do that. Um, look how it's nice and thick and delicious. This cake is fantastic, guys. Definitely make it. And we're gonna slowly do this so we don't make a huge mess. This is so good, guys. This is one of my favorite cakes I've ever made. It is absolutely delicious. If you're new to my channel, I'm Official Jamia. This is Bonnet Baking. Please, if you are not subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. Like and comment. Make sure you get it all out of the pan because you don't want to leave any goodness behind. Now let's get to cutting this cake and tasting it. Yum!
you know, look, look at it. Oh, I probably should let it cool. Mind your business. Hold on. Let's, let, let me show y'all. Let's see if this tastes as good as it looks and it smells. It's so moist. Oh my God. Might be the best pound cake I ever made in my whole entire life. <laughs> Yo, no lie, this is the best cake I ever made. I need people to know that this is fire. This, oh my God. Mm. Mm. This make you want to cuss. <laughs> I said off camera. You decided to come on here with your leftover ponytail. Okay. Get it. Eat it. Taste it. For the paper. The good part. No, that's the good part right there, the crust. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I guess my cake is gone. So my plate is gone. Mm. Y'all, do yourself a favor and make this doggone cake. I'm gonna put everything in the description box. This cake is fire. Okay, please. Keep, keep. You see why I poked it with holes so the glaze can go down in the hole? You see that? You see it? <laughs> <laughs> Period. Who spiked the eggnog pound cake with fireball? Baby, this is it right here. Thank y'all so much for joining me for Bonnet Bacon. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that good stuff. Make this cake. Thank me later. Love you. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Hold on. Bonnet Bacon Santa. Say bye to the people. Bye to the people. Okay. He said it. Okay. Bye, y'all. I love you, and ain't nothing you can do about it. I already said that. All right. Bye.